So I wanted to uh, make a video about how I remove these pins out of these Molex connectors. I believe the proper name for these are Minifit Junior connectors. And there's an official tool you can buy to extract these pins, but from what I've read, it's kind of a disposable tool. It's basically a pair of metal tongs that stick into the connectors pins and then it pushes the locking tabs in. And rather than buying that disposable tool, what I use is a small paper clip. You want to make sure it's not one of the weird ones with like the grooves cut into it, just regular old paper clip. And I take it and I'll bend it out like this. Um, and the reason I have two hammers here is because I need something with a hard flat surface. And well, I have two hard hammers. Um, doing this through the camera, so we'll see how how good I do. But basically, I'm just going to bend it so I don't have to hold it. Leave it a little bit right angle, make it easier to work with. Basically, what you want to do, if I can get it to play nice, is you want to flatten out the t the end of it. Ouch! <laughs> As I hit my finger, and that's not quite enough. Be nice if it would cooperate. Maybe that'll work. Let's see if it's a little flatter. Not quite. Kind of tricky to do. I will admit, this probably isn't the best way to do it but you want to flatten out the paper clip. Let's see if that's enough. Changes the zoom so I'm not wide angle. Um, you see how the profile, that's kind of rectangular. Kind of an oval rectangle, I suppose, but so you can flatten this paper clip out basically though between two hard metal surfaces. And then once you get that done, You'll stick the uh, paper clip in each side of the pin, which is really hard to do through the camera. <laughs> um, and you can kind of see where that locking tab is that holds the pin into place. So you stick it in far enough to basically touch it. And then what I do is I twist the paper clip back and forth, and that should push it down. Yeah, not quite. I might might need to make this paper clip. A little bit flatter, but you do that on both sides of the pen. So I'm gonna do the other side now, as you can see. In theory, this will come out. Oh wow! All right, cool. That <laughs> worked really nice. And you can see that the wings are smashed down now. That's kind of where this razor blade comes in. I will take the razor blades after I remove the pen. And um, just want to get under a little bit and lift it up on each side. And what that'll do is that'll make it so you can push it whoops, back into the Molex connector. So you can shove it back in and it'll lock into place. I actually need to push that other one out just a little bit more. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to actually reuse this connector for, for this, but uh, yeah. Um, and be mindful about not pushing them out too far because if you push them out too far, this is just brass, so it'll get it's brittle and it'll snap off and you won't be able to use the connector anymore. But yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, you yeah, know, just a matter of taking a paper clip, smashing it down, and then when I say sides, that's assuming you know you have this is the top, the locking clip's the top, and then this, this would be the uh, right side, and this would be the left side. So yeah, when I say sides, though, you go down the sides of the pen, wiggle the paper clip, kind of twist it, wiggling, and then once you get those little locking tabs pushed down enough, you just pull, pull it out. Shouldn't require any force. Um, sometimes you might have to jiggle a little while you're pulling, but if it doesn't want to come out, then just take your paper clip and go back in there and you know wiggle it around. So. Hopefully that's helpful. I've been doing this a lot with uh, various Molex connectors now and 
this is a lot cheaper than the official tool so yeah also I don't think I've wore out the first one I made so this is my second one I made now <laughs> but either way hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching